All new tonight here on the rant, the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. Experts still say vaccination gives us all the best chance to fight the virus. And on the rant line, you were talking about that. Plus, two topics really fired up the rant line last night. Our story on the Louisville State lawmaker who wants to have marijuana decriminalized and also allow you to grow up to five plants and tax the plants in the sale of legal pot. Plus, running red lights. We've all done it. We know we shouldn't be doing it. It's very dangerous. So a lawmaker in Lexington wants to have red light cameras installed to catch you in the act. You would get a ticket in the mail. It's already been said that it can cause accidents because people slam their brakes on because they don't want to get a stinking ticket. Can they approve the uh, marijuana and just do it? <laughs> I'm Billy from Pee Wee Valley. I think we need cameras everywhere to get people catch them doing the shootings. Uh, instead of, you know, giving somebody a ticket to run the red light. Well, my name is Maria, and my rant is legalized marijuana. It is such a relaxing feeling. It makes you feel good. It helps you get through the day. It's stress-free. You just love life. You love living. I'm so happy because I smoke marijuana. Thank you so much for hearing my rant. It's for medicinal purposes only. All right, Maria. Well, that's why the rant line is open to everybody. We thank you for your call and your opinion, by the way, on the variant and continuing to get vaccinated. Shannon Louisville, I'm vaccinated, my own choice, and I feel safe and would do it again. Sarah Jane and Radcliffe, my doctor recommended to get an antibodies test since I already had COVID last year and got the vaccine too. Waiting on the results from that. Before we proceed to phase four of the waterfront project, we had better accomplish phase one on restoring law and order to this city. More rants coming in from Tom in Southwest Jefferson County. With the crime stats we're experiencing here, how can the governor blow 10 million on a parks project? Public safety comes first and we don't have it. On the governor's hope to invest $10 million at the waterfront park expansion westward. And then Mark in Louisville on school choice. Uh, is it really a choice? School choice, you're still stuck in JCPS. We need to change the way we fund the education of all Kentucky children to have true school choice. Allocate dollars to the parents and let the parents decide what is best for their children. The funds can go to public or private schools. Well, do you think the federal money set aside for the American Rescue Plan should give bonuses to the public workers who stayed the course? stayed on the job during the most tense parts of the COVID shutdowns. For example, the mayor wants to spend $21 million on bonuses here locally. Here's how you can rant. I don't know if we're going to hear from Maria again. Maybe, maybe, maybe if they pass that law. You can post a message on our Facebook page. You can use Twitter at WHAS11Doug. Keep your email coming to the rant at WHAS11.com. And the toll-free rant line is open at 855-749-1101.